Hi, you're watching BK Hobby, and today I'm going to take a little break from my OpenHab Basics videos to show you another project that I've been working on in the meantime. For this project, I was asked to make my NodeMCU Cube LED controller run a long string of LED strips all around a room. I'm using these WS2812 IP65 waterproof LED strips with 150 LEDs per 5 meter string. I have three of them connected in series for a total of 450 LEDs. Now a problem that you don't usually run into with shorter strings, like the ones I was using for my holiday light decorations, is that when you have these long strips of LEDs, you get voltage drop along the string. Another problem is that the power that's required to run the LEDs does add up as you put together longer strings. For example, for these WS2812 LED strips, they use about 1.8 amps per meter at five volts. So for a five meter string, that adds up to nine amps. You could use a 12 volt LED strip, which runs at a lower amperage, but I like using the five volt strings only because they allow me to connect my NodeMCU controller directly to the LED strip to get power from. So for my 450 LEDs, I'm actually gonna need nine amps times three, so 27 amps total power. So for this project, I'm using a five volt, 200 watt DC power supply, which will be good up to 40 amps and we'll have plenty of power to run these LED strips. Now, one thing I was worried about is the LED controller being able to run a string of 450 LEDs because I had never run a string that long before, but it seems to do the job just fine. I did use the 160 megahertz CPU setting in Arduino for the Node MCU, just in case. This is the power supply that I used for the project and I secured all the cabling with crimp lugs, covered them with electrical tape for safety, and zip tied both cables to the chassis for strain relief so the lugs don't get ripped out when you tug on the cable. So for my power connections, I used these DC plugs to make the strips modular. And I ran the power cables to the beginning and to the end of the string. That helps me gain five volts at both ends of the string. Without the back end of the string connected, the voltage drop becomes too great for the LEDs to even turn on. However, to maintain the constant voltage for the middle string, I also had to run extra cable along the back of the LED strip. Since I'm connecting three LED strips together, I ran the backing cable on all three LED strips and just wired it to the DC plug at, e at every end. Again, this just helps maintain a constant five volt supply at every connection point. So this is just something to give you an idea of how to run longer LED strips with my NodeMCU LED controller. In this particular case, these LED strips will go into aluminum channels and be installed along the ceiling of a room for some cool lighting effects. I'll post links to all the products used in this video just in case you want to make your own long LED strip. And as always, if you want to see more home innovation videos, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is BK Hobby. Thank you.